face. What is up, guys? Welcome to T Town Raids. My name is Travis, bringing you an everyday heroes video. Today we're going to be looking at an attack from Cowboy Elite from our last war, and he is down his Barb King. This is a Go Va Holo attack. And anytime uh, in our clan, we do not make you sit out if you are down a hero and you still want a war. But for you to three star a base when you're down a hero, especially one that's decent, you definitely have to pick out a design flaw and hit slightly below what you're used to um, and expose that design flaw uh, to three star these bases. I think it's easier to three star being down. Your Barb King, then your Archer Queen, but still, depending on what's in that CC and a number of different factors, both heroes, for any experienced attacker, knows it makes the raids go much smoother, and that kill squad's much stronger. But let's jump into the strategy, and then watch the attack. So as you can see, uh, Cowboy actually brings two Golems. And, what he, and he brings two jumps. So what he's going to do, he's going to open his attack up by putting a jump right here. That jump's going to open up those first three pockets. He's going to send a golem at different angles, targeting different point defenses. So all of the uh, defenses will be targeting the golems, not his wizards. He's going to set a nice wide funnel, dropping wizards on each one of these defenses here, starting on the outside. It's going to take down this trash ring. Once that trash ring goes down, he's going to drop his Archer Queen, followed by his Valkyries, and they're going to go straight up the gut. Should be eliminating these defenses here. He brings his second jump, and what he's going to do is he's going to drop that second jump right here, trying to link all of those compartments together. As you immediately know, he sees that these three air defenses are right by each other, so he knows if he can get these three air defenses down, then he's got 11 balloons. He can just send them in on the outside targeting these point defenses, especially the archer towers, one by one, and they'll just collapse on this base. As you'll notice at the bottom here, he brings three hogs, and uh, like I've said before, Cowboy Lee, this is something I have yet to do, but I really like this touch. Typically, when your kill squad uh, goes in, your golems, they don't always go perfectly, and, and, and they'll usually go to one side or the other. And what he does with these hogs is, he, is once that his golems go in and then the uh, point defense are targeting them, so the, the golems will go, like, go to this side, he'll send in his three hogs to get just a little bit of push right here to, to keep his kill squad up a little bit longer, especially he's like, he uses them basically to protect his archer queen. Keep that archer queen up. That archer queen stays up. Um, the raid will go much easier for you. Um, once the first uh, two air defenses go down, you know, he's guessing that it'll be those two. He's going to send uh, targeted balloons to a piece at each one of these defenses, especially the archer towers are the most important. Cannons can't hurt hurt the, the balloons. What I recommend is two per archer tower, one per cannon. Um, I wouldn't drop two per cannon just because you don't need them to push through the base that quickly. You just need to get the um, air targeting uh, point defense down. Um, as the uh, air defenses go down, he's just going to be patient and drop his two balloons where needed. Um, and then most importantly, he saves a couple of cleanup wizards. Now that we're back down to that three-minute timer, make sure you save a cleanup wizard too, or you might run out of time. Last war, I had a base absolutely wrecked, a 99% two-star, just because I had thought I saved a cleanup wiz, but I didn't. So that's the plan. He's got two heals, you know, he's just going to heal his Valkyries where needed. Anytime you use Valkyries, make sure you heal them real early, and then use your second one where needed. Always heal them right whenever they're headed right into the heroes and the CC, and then he's got a poison and a haste to use where needed. So let's go ahead and remove this stuff here, and uh, that's, the, that's the, the plan. Let's watch it. All right, he drops down that first jump, opening up the first three compartments, and he gets a nice wide spread on his go golems. He's going to be a little bit uh, patient, so all those defenses target the golems and not his wizards. 
Um, he's just going to be patient, wait for that trash to go down. As you can see, he's putting in the wizards where needed. Once that funnel gets nice and wide, uh, he's going to launch his Valkyries in. So he's waiting for the point defense. A couple of point defenses start going down. Uh, CC starts coming out. Uh, he's going to probably poison it. Looks like he drops a haste on it. Don't know if he thought that he dropped the poison on it or not. Goes ahead and drops his second jump just to link up those three compartments. As you can see, he dropped it slightly south of what he wanted. But his kill squad goes left. So he's going to drop those hogs on the right. Um, and I think he was thinking his queen was going in. But his queen decides to take a walk from him. Even though he set a real nice wide funnel. That's sometimes what happens when you attack these bases from the corner. But it actually might work out good for him. Once those two air defenses go down, like I said, he drops two balloons per archer tower, uh, one per cannon. Just uh, so you don't need two per cannon because they're not being targeted. And then they're going to converge uh, on the defenses in the middle. That last air defense is uh, he's got a little pesky air defense staying up. Um, golems are going around uh, still providing some tanking for his archer queen. He's got some skeletons that pop up. It looks like he was uh, expecting an air attack. He knew that his base was probably susceptible to an air attack. So that's why he had his skeletons set on air. Drops two more balloons at the uh, Tesla. Uh, protect. He just drops those to protect his queen. He knows that the archer tower or the air defense is still up, but he's got two golems still tanking. And he's got. He drops a cleanup whiz on the uh, three o'clock. Drops another cleanup whiz over at one o'clock. And now it's really just cleanup time for his archer queen. And he's uh, two balloons uh, left in the pocket. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up here, but pretty nice attack from Cowboy Elite being down as Barb King. Just want to go to show you that you guys can three star bases. Uh, without your heroes, it just takes a little bit more planning, a little bit better execution, but it's definitely doable. Uh, your second option is um, if if your clan's going to let you war without a hero, just maybe hit down, hit a Town Hall 8. All right, guys, that is it for today's Every Heroes Everyday Heroes video. If you have not subscribe go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you uh, like the video go ahead and hit smash the like most importantly leave me a comment on what you thought of the video good or bad so i can continue to bring you high quality content that is enjoyable all right guys this is travis with t-town raids peace